Hi guys, Starshift here. Welcome to episode 3 of Getting to Steel. In this episode, episode we're going to create some unfired pottery using the turntable. We're going to also create a kiln and fire the pottery and that will give us some urns that we can use for soul urns and a crucible that we can use for making steel. And at the end of this episode we'll actually make some steel. So, starting at the beginning, I have some clay blocks. So you obtain these by just collecting clay out in the wild and then using the crafting table to turn them back into clay blocks. So the setup I have here, I have a turntable again powered from underneath like the turntable in episode 2. I have a piston with a button on it so pressing this you push whatever's on the turntable off and into the hopper. So if I place a clay block you can hear it turning around. So that is a crucible. A few turns later we get a planter. A few turns later we get a vase. An urn. And then eventually clay block gets turned away to nothing. So what we need for our purposes is a crucible. So I will do wait until I reach crucible stage, press the button, pushes it off, turns it into item form, drops it into the hopper. And we also need an urn. So you'll need an urn for every piece of steel you want to make, so you'll probably eventually want to make up an, a simple system on a timer that once you reach urn stage the piston is activated, allowing you to slightly automate this. So you can see here I have a crucible and an urn both in their unfired state. Now we need a kiln to fire these. So again the stoked fire from episode 2. So you see a bellows with a timer attached to power and unpower the gearbox which then pumps and unpumps the bellows. I've removed the stewing pot and we're going to replace it with some bricks in this pattern. <laughs> like so. So you actually don't need one of these sides and that helps with automation but for the purposes of it looking nice I'm going to leave all those sides on. Now all you do is if you have stoked fire beneath it you just place the item into the slot and you can see it changed colour to indicate it's cooking or firing. Once the process is done you get a completed item dropped out. Do the same for the vase. Let me just turn creative off. There we go. So you can see I now have a crucible and also an urn, a fired urn. So next steps we'll prepare our steel place. Now I would often recommend having a separate fire for your crucible because that will ensure your kiln gets full power from nine Hibachis and the crucible also gets full power from nine but you can actually early game just place it here and it will still get the fire from six. Again you can place one there and one there and you can be creative in terms of just using one stoked fire to power multiple things. So we've now made a crucible and placed it. We've made an urn for our soul lands. We've made our kiln. So a couple more items required in steel. We need some iron ingots. We need some coal dust. And we also need to turn our urn into a soul urn. So let me grab the first two items first. So in order to get carbon dust, we go back to our millstone and place some coal that will grind it into coal dust. Meanwhile let me pick up some iron. Iron ingots. See we've got some carbon powder. And there's another piece. In order to turn our urns into soul urns we utilise the mechanism that we set up earlier. 
so we have a again in episode 2 a powered hopper with a soul sand filter and some water running over the top so all we do is you place the urn in the block underneath the hopper and you can see there you can see how it will filter into that urn we then take some ground netherrack so you only need eight pieces for each urn you can see it's passing over and we now have a snazzy looking soul urn there we go so you now take all of those items so we have some carbon powder iron ingots and soul urns and place them into the crucible with a stoked fire underneath after a short while we get steel and there you go hope you enjoyed the series of getting steel next episode I'll focus on some of the blocks that occur beyond steel and just explaining how you get them to and some of the uses of steel in the Better Than Walls mod so, but any questions let me know. Hope you enjoyed.